I wanted to start out the video by saying that last night it rained several times. Um, I think Mother Nature may have been a little offended because I was saying I was not very happy with her for rain, for deciding to rain all weekend long um, and ruin my chances of getting outside and working on my beautiful garden. Um, because exactly two hours after my last mist, it rained. And then it, it rained quite a bit throughout the night. So I don't think I have to hose this down anymore. Um, I think it's gotten plenty wet. So I could hear how hard it was raining last night. Um, so just got to sit there for a couple days. And then I can take the frame off. I'm probably going to wait till next weekend. Because we're going to be getting a lot of rain here all week long. And... I want this thing to be fully cured and dried when I take off the wood frame. Anyways, on to today's projects. Getting all of my flowers in the ground or in their planters. So I will probably be starting with these beautiful flowers, annuals in my Rose of Sharon garden. Then I get to move to these over here. I'll be putting these um, Latanias in my daylily garden. Um, the St. John's wort is going over by my pollinator garden. I have a shepherd's hook to hang up for this guy right here and my hummingbird feeder still have to figure out what I'm going to do with this beautiful red petunia and then I got to fill up planters for this trailing petunia with the variegated leaves and this whiskey barrel so I've got a lot more to do but I think that's good enough for a goal is just getting everything planted today We'll see how today works and how much I can get done. Okay, now I'm getting ready to plant my St. John's wort first thing I did is I dug up all the weeds um, created a, tried to create a border then um, after that I put in a bag of topsoil to kind of level it out and help put some more organic matter into the soil since we're dealing with mostly red clay um, and most plants aren't huge lovers of clay um, next, what I did is I made a little bit of indentation of where I'm going to put the plant, added some fertilizer. Next, I'm going to add some peat moss and some compost, mix it up, and that's where I'm going to put um, the plant. And hopefully it'll have enough nutrients and everything that it needs to really put in some good strong roots and survive and become beautiful. <laughs> Um, let's keep working. Okay, it's about mid-afternoon now, and I'm going to go and head inside and have lunch here for a, a break. Um, I slept in, so that's why I'm having a late lunch today. But um, I went ahead and cleared out the area between my two light poles, and I weeded 
and got my planners out here in their positions. Um, when I get done from lunch, I will be putting these petunias in their planners. Um, and then I think I will start working on my zinnia garden by my back door. We'll see. Okay, um, I, since lunch, I cleaned out this area and made this uh, shepherd's hook pole a little more permanent, pounded it into the ground quite a ways so that it doesn't topple over. Then next, I uh, filled up my plant, my green planters with dirt. The bottom half is nothing but topsoil, but the top half is a composed is composed of a combination of topsoil, compost, peat moss, and then my fertilizer. Looks, I I think it looks nice. Um, in case you're wondering what flowers specific these are, the petunias that are in the green planters are Glamouflage Pink Lemonade and then the Whiskey Barrel Planter is a combination Bermuda Skies which includes Supertunia Bermuda Beach Lagunia Sky Blue and Super Bell's Yellow Chiffon. So, I hope it continues to look just as pretty all, all summer long. Well, that was a little disheartening. Not only was, or is, my hummingbird feeder busted, Apparently, I wasn't paying too much attention when I grabbed it off the shelf and put it in my cart. So, the shepherd's hook that I got from Aldi uh, Hold on. broke as well. This little washer here is supposed to be in here and that's how they connect. The ends are supposed to look like this. But this part broke off into that part. So this shepherd's hook is no good. I mean, it could have been a little bit taller than what it was in the picture, but I just wanted to have everything set up so I could see how it looked and decide if that's the place I want it to be permanently. Um, I'm still not 100% sure if that's where I want it to go. I thought it might look nice to where I could still see out of my window. It could be in at least a little bit of shade for some of the day and not like in the hot sun all day long so I'm not sure that probably can't be exactly good for hummingbird food that's in the feeder. I gotta do a little bit more research before I decide where I'm gonna put the hook in the hummingbird feeder. Not to mention I gotta get another hook and I gotta take that hummingbird feeder back to Home Depot and hopefully get an exchange. Alright, it is getting to be almost time to call it a day but I still have not tackled this mess so I will think I will start to work on here and then when it's dinner time it's dinner time and I'm gonna have to take a break because I have other chores that I'll have to do starting next weekend. But I'm going to continue working on my garden tomorrow night 
Wednesday night and Thursday night. And hopefully I'll be able to at least finish this area before the week is through. Alright, there's one wheelbarrow full, making a dent. Alright, it is the end of day four and the end of my four day weekend. Um, I'm actually quite happy with everything that I was able to get done. Um, of course, my children helped over the weekend. Um, let's see. In here, um, I cleaned out all of the trash, the weeds. Um, I left the two yellow tick seeds, and then I think this might be something that reseeded from last year. I'm not sure. I'll leave it up. It could be a weed. If it is, I'll pull it with I know. Um, I laid down a bunch of topsoil and then covered it with compost. Um, in the broken planter there, I'm going to have Mexican sunflower. I wanted it to be a centerpiece, and I wanted it to grow there. I didn't want it to rain and have the rain move the seeds around so that's why I have it there in that planter um, the whole rest of it I worked all the zinnia seeds into the rest of the dirt so hopefully it'll be nothing but zinnias in a couple months and a lot of beautiful beautiful late summer early fall color um, over here where you can see the upturned dirt is where I've planted additional seeds um, so that leads to all the seeds that I had got that I bought are now in the ground getting ready to grow um, everything that I've purchased recently from new, uh, nursery or from Home Depot is in is either in its final home or it's in a temporary home um, until I can go to the store exchange some things buy some new stuff um, all I really have left to do for all of my projects is number one of course I gotta wait for my patio to make sure that it's cure and solid before I remove the frame once the frame is removed I can put re um, configure all of my pavers make the pathways straight because you noticed this one here was a little crooked after I squared the patio up against the house we discovered that my garden path was a little crooked so and we get to rearrange all of these squares. Got to make sure that I fit. I got to get more pavers. And then fit it up. Make sure I have. Yeah. Forgive. Okay. I've got to measure. A couple times. To make sure. That when the pavers reach. The wood. Of that little paver area for the garbage can that there isn't a gap so that's gonna be fun because I'm gonna have to start the I'm gonna have to start the path from the garbage can patio and work its way here all the while maintaining a straight line which uh, as you can see isn't exactly as easy as it looks um, but aside from fixing this area with all the pavers, I still have some weeding. I have some mulching to do. And I will continue to post updates as I make my final progress. And sadly, you probably won't see a finalized video until at least July. By that time, I should have... It's going to be at least June. 
you may not see um, the finalized result until at least June, maybe even the 4th of July. Like, it, like you know, I've got to fix the paver, pavers. That's going to take a while. Uh, i got to mulch. I've got to weed. Um, I've got new landscape lighting I've got to put out. Um, yeah. So, I can't wait to be able to do a uh, everything's done video. This is what, how, what it looks like. But... Thanks for watching. Hope you guys had a great weekend too. Bye.